TOK problem I've chosen is are some types of knowledge more useful than others? The value of knowledge cannot be easily determined because there are multiple criteria that can be used to assess the importance of particular knowledge. This exhibition aims to explore different objects and explain why some objects store more useful knowledge over others based on my own criteria and interpretation of knowledge. My first object is a book printed by the first movable metal type called Jigji. Jigji is currently recognized as the oldest book printed by movable metal types. This object was manufactured with the intention of storing information about Buddhist teachings and played a pivotal role in spreading the teachings of Buddha during the Goryeo dynasty of Korea. This object enables transmission of knowledge within the communities of North. Books are often referred to as an object full of knowledge. Books not only transmit information through the text, but also inspire the readers to develop their opinions from the contextual knowledge. I'm also deeply inspired by this object because it reveals the faith of Goryeo people in Buddhism, as it would require a huge amount of effort to create the very first movable metal text. However, the knowledge stored in the object is not as useful as it was in the past. Jigji used to be a sensational invention that allowed the spread of knowledge in Buddhist countries like Goryeo. However, digital tools have developed extensively in modern society to replace the role of metal types. Furthermore, Korea is no longer a Buddhist country, therefore this indicates that the importance of a content knowledge can sometimes be diminished through the development of new technology or ideology that replace this role. My second object is a Goguryeo cave painting found on the walls of ancient Goguryeo kingdom temples. This object portrays the hunting scene of the ancient Koreans. Goguryeo was one of the three kingdoms of Korea, founded in 37 BC, which was renowned for strong military power. This object created in the 6th century also shows how good they were at hunting and how the hunting was done in the ancient time of Korea. The cave painting embodies various historical knowledge about Goguryeo. It gives general historical knowledge from the hunting scenes such as types of animals being hunted, the hunting method, the geographical features of Goguryeo. Furthermore, the dog that's running besides the hunter reveals their unique costume that the dogs were domesticated for hunting. Overall, the artist aims to explain that hunting was a major part of life in Goguryeo through very detailed and accurate painting. Despite the absence of language in the painting, it is very effective in transmitting the historical knowledge of Goguryeo. However, the historical knowledge obtained from the painting can only as be assumed to be true, as art is often fictional and subjective, so it does not necessarily have to display facts. Therefore, there can be multiple interpretations of the knowledge inside this object unless there is textual evidence to support one claim. Hence, this shows that artistic knowledge can become more valuable when it is supported by other types of knowledge that are proven to be true. Created using Powtoon.